Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Catching Chains. Today I'm going to be doing a disc golf disc dying tutorial. So this is going to be the disc I am dying today. It's a star, Nate Sexton star Excalibur. And the premium plastics like star plastic and champ plastic definitely work the best for disc dying. So whenever we're dyeing a disc, we have to keep in mind that if the disc is not white, the colors that we're going to be adding to it are going to be additive to the color that the disc already is. So for example, if I were to add, say red on this disc, because this is blue, it would come out turning a little bit purple. So we have to keep that in mind when we're picking our colors. Also, usually when I get started, it's best to go in with a plan in mind for how the disc is gonna look later. So I actually draw up a little bit of a plan, like just kind of like a little blueprint. So I'm gonna put a purple line down the middle and then dark, er, and then red on either side of that, which is gonna be a lighter purple probably, and dark blue on either side of that, and then I've got like a teal color I'm gonna put on the outside, similar color to the disc. Let's go look at uh, some of the different supplies and ingredients you'll need to do this yourself at home. Okay, so we gotta pick our dye, and personally I use Rit Synthetic dye. Uh, I use the liquid kind, and that has really been working for me. And I'll show you what else we have. I just have a bunch of assorted colors in that. The next thing you're gonna need is this Elmer's Clear Glue. Okay, just a bunch of it. I got the gallon of it because I do this a lot, um, but you can go to the store and get less if you want to. Personally, this is the best bang for your buck if you're planning on doing this more than just a handful of times. Next up, you're gonna need some acetone. Now, I use this just for usually taking off some of the logo on the disc if I want to. I can take off any part of this or keep any part of this that I want. Um, so I think my plan for this one is to get rid of everything except for the sword because I think that sword looks sick. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some of this on a Q-tip or a cloth and just rub it off and I'll show that process too. But that's what you use acetone for. You're also going to want to use the acetone actually in your dye just a little bit. I mix it in with my liquid writ dye just a little bit. Um, and I've found that that actually helps uh, take to the plastic better than without. Next up, you're just gonna wanna have all your dyes pre-mixed with that acetone in little squeezer bottles. Okay, this is really useful for actually applying the dye to the disc itself, or to the, the glue bed, I should say, as you're dyeing. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just put a giant something down on your workspace. I personally like to use just a big tarp. And what this is gonna do is keep the dye out of the way of dripping on certain things because anything that dye touches is just going to immediately stain it. Um, and you're gonna to have to act fast to get it cleaned up, otherwise you're gonna have a mess on your hands. So I always like to put down a tarp. To be extra cautious, I actually got this little bin here that I put the disc in, and what that's gonna do is just add another layer of security to the whole process. After that, I add a plastic plate I got at Target for like 50 cents, and then a paper plate. And this is actually where I do the dying of the disc. I put the disc in there with the glue bed and that's where I am working. Once you have your whole setup ready, it's time to start preparing your disc and then begin dying. So the first step to dying your disc is actually washing it. You're gonna want to rinse it with soap and water to get off any dirt or grime that's on it, especially if this is a used disc that you're starting off with. And then you're also going to want to, if it's a brand new disc, the factory sometimes puts a coating on the top layer of the disc that dye will not adhere to unless you first remove it with soap and water. So it's always a good idea to wash your disc pretty thoroughly. If you're liking what I'm doing so far, like and subscribe. Make sure you dry your disc off thoroughly after this. The next step is to take off whatever part of the stamp that you want off. So I'm gonna be taking off this whole part right here 
and everything except for the sword, pretty much. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna do that with some acetone nail polish remover, a little makeup wipe. I'm gonna start taking off this part. And now we're just going back to a makeup wipe to get the rest of this Innova logo off. Just rinse our disc off now, see what we're left with. Okay, before we put the disc in the glue bed, we actually have to make it. So I'm going to start off by just lifting the plate up a little bit and I'm going to pour some of that Elmer's glue in there. Just get a nice pour here so that the entire bottom of the plate is covered. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, and just let that kind of seep around. The next step we're going to want to try to do, this is kind of a hard part, is to get all the bubbles out. So I usually just use an empty squeeze bottle and just kind of blow, just poof out air. And what that does is it helps get out some of the bubbles. The next step is to refresh yourself on what you want to do before you get started. After we got the glue in, it's time to start adding our colors. Now, you're gonna to wanna to wear gloves when you do this so that you don't stain your hands with any dye. All right, so just like my blueprint said, I'm gonna start with some purple down the middle. And I always like to label mine so that I know exactly what I'm pouring on before I'm actually gonna do it, okay. You do this you can kind of want to roll it in you're going to kind of roll it in like this that's to pre prevent any uh, bubbles from forming so we're going to try and do that pretty slow okay we got it in i'm going to press down until it fills up around it a little bit okay now i'm just going to let that sit for 24 hours and we'll see you guys back then, and we're pretty much done. All right, guys, so it's been a little bit over 24 hours, and now it's time to pull the disc out and see what it looks like. Now, this is probably the messiest part so far, so definitely make sure you have gloves on when you're doing this part. So without further ado, let's see what we got going on here. gonna stick okay and you see right here we don't really know what's going on much and we're gonna get a gift card bandago not sponsored and we're gonna scrape some of that off oh yeah this turned out good 
Oh yeah, that turned out really good. You can already tell that this is going to be really nice once we get it washed off. Oh yeah. I'll just scrape some of that glue off. And the goal here is to just get as much as you can off. Back into the thing. Just gonna leave that gift card there. Now I already ripped out some paper towels to help me clean this off. Just have some at the ready. Be extra prepared when you're doing this. Because this is very messy. Oh yeah, this turned out really nice. Okay, wipe that, put it there. And I've got two more. I've got one to put it on top of and another one to kind of sandwich it in there. Wrap it up a little bit so we can get it to the sink. All right, and I'll see you guys at the sink in just a second. All right, guys, so I got the disc in the sink here. Let's get it out of this wrapping. Careful not to get too much dye everywhere. It washes off pretty nice at this point. I think we're just gonna set it down here. Throw all this away, we don't need this anymore. Okay. So now, we'll just turn some hot water on. And I always get like a little dish scrub. me dye this disc leave a like down below and please subscribe if you haven't already and let me know if you want to see more videos like this uh, thanks for watching we'll see you out there